Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha. I am an intuitive, um, intuitive reader, healer, spiritual surgeon, empath. Um, and today I wanted to do a video about how to use a pendulum. So I first got this, uh, learned what a pendulum even was um, when I took a um, Reiki and when I got certified for Reiki and um, spiritual surgery. So my um, instructor was actually very uh, like she she didn't teach the traditional Reiki. She she kind of um, taught a more modern day type like make it your own um, energy healing course. So I got certified with spiritual surgery specifically, which is the healing method that I use currently for clients. So that's how I learned what a pendulum was and learned to use it. So when um, I start, when I, um, the first day we went to class, she had a bunch of pendulums and the pendulum had to choose us. Um, and my first one, this is actually not even my first one. My first one was a tiger's eye um, pendulum that I have here. Um, so this one, it was my first one. And this is the one that chose me. So um, it's kind of like Avatar, that the movie Avatar where the dragon had to choose them um, before they choose it. So that's kind of how it is with the pendulum. It's, it's like tarot cards, like a tarot deck that calls to you. It's for a reason. Um, I feel like everything in life kind of has to choose us as well. It has to be an energetic match. So depending on the crystal that's within the pendulum, um, whatever is going to be best suited for you and your practice or whatever you're choosing to use it for. Even if you're just drawn to one, that's okay too. Um, I just always look into the deeper meaning of things because I'm a Scorpio MC and um, North Node. So, you know, I look deeply into absolutely everything. So things have to really mean something for me. Um, but anyway, so that's when I first came across what a pendulum was. And um, in normal traditional Reiki or energy healing, a lot of times it'll be with your hands, which I still incorporate that if I am doing a healing in person, if I feel called to, but she specifically taught us to use a pendulum instead because for people who weren't comfortable with putting their hands on random people that they don't really know, um, or people who are receiving the healing that don't feel comfortable having somebody put their hands on them. So that's why we learned how to do both and I'm really grateful for that because the pendulum has become a very prominent tool in um, my everyday spiritual ritual like practice just for myself. And um, even just in my day to day life, if, if I want some like quick clarity on something or um, some or like my wife does, I'll just pull the pendulum out and be like, you know, get get our quick answers. Um, the thing about a pendulum, though, so let's get into the logistics of a pendulum number one um it is really important to ask for your thoughts feelings desires and fears to not affect the answer that you receive from the pendulum and that is something i actually didn't learn until later on because um the pendulum you it your thoughts can affect the answer and the movement of the pendulum and that's a clear precise example of how powerful our minds are how powerful our energy is and um it's like I'll, I'll even give you an example so spirit show me a yes please spirit show me a no please all right so you got all that what a yes and a no looks like so now i'm gonna ask spirit can you take my thoughts fears desires and energy out of the influencing the answer to this question is my name samantha so we got a yes is my name rain and now i'm gonna look at the pendulum and and try and influence it so right now um i'm saying my name is rain and it's still no. So 
if I were to do that and I didn't ask for my thoughts to be taken out of influencing the answer, it would have listened to me. Um, the pendulum is, it kind of becomes a part of you unless you kind of um, put that boundary in place. It's some things we really can't explain. I honestly can't explain why, you know, our thoughts affect it. Like it really just is supernatural and it really is just a tool that is extremely powerful when um, that can be really beneficial to our everyday life or to our healing practices. Um, so another thing that I want to add about a pendulum is, um, again, building a relationship with it. So when you first get a pendulum, if you've never used one before, you're going to want to develop with, with your spirit team. Um, you're going to want to develop um, what a yes looks like and what a no looks like. So for everybody, it's different. When I first learned um, how to use a pendulum, it was like clockwise. If it's spinning clockwise, then it's a yes. And if it's spinning counterclockwise, it was a no. But later on, as I started using it just on my own, um, the no changed. And so I had to um, adjust to that um, for whatever reason. And also my yes doesn't necessarily have to uh, spin clockwise. It can be counterclockwise. Like, so it's going to be dependent on you and your spirit team and what they choose to use as a yes or no with your pendulum. So that's gonna be the very first thing that you do when you get a pendulum. Besides, except for clearing the energy, obviously. Any object that you get or buy, you wanna clear it with sage or um, just prayer, however you clear energy from objects. Um, so what's another thing? Also another way to get like quick clarity or to um, have a, an answer to a question that you have um is kind of like putting like so all right spirit please take uh the take my thoughts energy desires and fears out of the answer out of influencing the answer to this question please um spirit please take my thoughts from influencing the answer to this question please so i'm gonna ask the question i know what i ate today did i eat a salad, buffalo chicken dip, or tacos. And see, it's moving toward buffalo chicken dip. I put, I said, salad, buffalo chicken dip, tacos. So I kind of put them in an area and then wherever the pendulum points is the answer. So if you have a question that it could be multiple, um, you know, multiple scenarios, that's a good way to also get a clear answer to a question. Um, I have had instances where the pendulum was wrong and those were the instances before I started asking for my thoughts to be removed from influencing the answer. So those were the only times that the pendulum really didn't hit on point. But as of recently, as I've built more of a relationship with the pendulum and, and just learning about it, learning more about it, also doing my own research and listening to how other people use their pendulum, um, I have realized that the pendulum really has not been wrong for me in multiple regards. It has really been on point. Um, so if you if there's a question that you have that you don't feel you're ready to know the answer to, I honestly wouldn't ask the pendulum. Um, that's just me. If it's something that you really, you know, don't know if you if you have like a gut feeling about something and um, you don't feel like you're ready, don't ask. Just like tarot, just like if you don't feel like you're ready for the answer to something, um, don't even go there. Just, you know, just don't do it. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So anything else with the pendulum? Also being very specific with your question. So being um, being very clear and precise with what you are asking is also very important because that could also um, kind of not give you the right result or the right answer um, or a clear answer. So I also realized with mine, um, sometimes if I'm not asking clearly enough, it'll just say yes. So depending, you can even ask spirit, like spirit, show me, show me, um, ask in a different way. It's spinning counterclockwise for me. Spirit, show me a yes. And see it spun and went back clockwise. 
So sometimes if I um, feel like I don't know how I'm gonna ask a question, I'll say like, okay, um, show me asking a different way. It kind of gives them permission to do that with the pendulum if um, I'm not sure if I'm asking in a clear way. So, and you could ask like, do you need me to ask in another way? And they'll tell you yes or no, you know? So um, it's all about building a relationship with the pendulum yourself, just like you would build a relationship with a tarot deck or an oracle deck or any other divination tools or candles, whatever your relationship is with them. So, um, so yeah, I hope that was helpful. And um, I will leave my info for readings and healings in my description box, as well as my poetry book, and as well as my Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff. Also, if anybody is interested in fixed candles or blessed uh, gold bangles, I will leave, that will be all on my Instagram. So you can check that out on there and you can DM me if you are interested in that. And I will see you guys next time, bye.